Okay, so I have a problem. Rope. What in the heck is it? And why do my fingers always want to find something to twist together that aren't a pair of nip- I have a bit of experience with spinning and thought how well does it stand up to game logic. Well, rope by its definition is two chords twisted together. Okay, so what the hell is a chord? Well, chord is two strings or twine twisted together. All of these things are technically called string. Just let that sink in for a moment. And although string and twine are technically the same name for the same thing, it's all a matter of the material process. Twine is usually spun from multiple fibers, whereas string and cord can usually refer to a long piece of material that doesn't need to be spun because of its size. Unlike the How It's Made series, you actually have to think about how it's made if you don't have the fancy machinery. Take my hands for example. I can do the following. Punch, dig, slap, break, wave, pull, push, grab, lift, drop injure, and make funny little hand gestures by myself when I feel lonely. We do all these things unconsciously without actually thinking about doing it. Yet with rope, we do all these assorted things with it. But I haven't actually thought about how it's made. You take string or twine, turn it into a cord, then a cord into rope. Look, it's rope! The hyper-multifunctional twisted utility tool from the late ages same as the Neanderthal. But much like our predecessors, our intelligence has improved to make our life worse. I mean better. So how much does game theory actually scale to real life in comparison? Well, I aim to figure that out so you don't have to. Why did you even click on this video anyways? Doesn't matter. Let's just say on the safe side, the average character you create is around 150 to 160 pounds, you skinny ba- That's about 68 to 73 kilograms. To lift something that heavy, you would have to have something relatively strong and reliable, like my upload frequency. Now let's talk about the material you would be using. This cord is made out of grass. This cord is made out of vine. And this cord is made out of my pubic hair. Well, obviously you wouldn't use cord as rope. So let's test the minimum weight of how thick a rope you would have to make in order to support yourself. I'm going to do two twists for the cord and rope, as that's the easiest, and three is too complicated, much like my life being totally together. For material, I'm using jute twine, as it's probably the best a human can spin if they had some kind of weighted spinning wheel. I'm going to start from these cords, then I'll spin them together into rope after I've tested the held weight. Let's find if they can hold up my skinny- One? Heck no. Two? Psh. Three? Eh. Four? Still no. Five? No barino. Six? In your dreams. Seven? Nope. Eight? I honestly thought this one would hold, now I have to go back and make some more. How about 9? Surely 10. Well, 10 held my weight, but I was jumping a little, so the bare minimum I'll use is 10 as a baseline. That's right, it takes about 10 twine to hold all that weight. But the problem is, all the rope spinning is missing one key note, and that's time. You probably forgot about it because you have too much. Well, the time it takes to weave the cord together can vary. Because my f***ing stupid ass can't look in the future, which means we have to go back to the drawing board. Material size can vary in great amounts, from this tiny hair to a long vine. But you probably don't live near a jungle, do you? Come on, don't lie to me, dude. Anyways, let's just call a truce on the whole material thing, since it's impossible to be right or wrong with the insane variety of possible materials. So let's find a happy middle ground. I've chopped the jute twine to one foot in length, which would be the most best case scenario in finding plant fiber to spin together on average. I'll take these and tie myself spinning rope 20 foot in length out of them, making sure to keep the string amount at 5 for each side, like in testing. I will be as fast as possible taking intermittent breaks and pausing my timer, because if you've ever spun anything in your life, you know that you easily get blisters doing so. So it took me this long to spin this. Now let's do the weight test. Yep, looks good. Now how well does this stack up to our game logic? Well, looks like it doesn't matter, because all the material can vary in some way. What was the point I was trying to make again?